After trying this player out in a new role, his team likes what they've seen. They consult him on the possibility of a more permanent role change. The player accepts the move, but makes his long-term positional goals clear. A coach is sent to offer guidance on training for a specific position. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the Northwest Arkansas Naturals. Play ball. You're out. Digging in now, Christian Warren, runner good. in scoring position with two John. Christian Warren. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. On the bag, on, on the, the bag, right here, short. on the bag. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. So striding in, Curtis McGinnis. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. To first. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And a good effort as he's able to gather it in and make a play for the first out. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. So digging in now, Christian Warren. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Christian Warren. Owen won the count. To short, hit hard. Come on, beat Backhanded. it out, beat it out, beat it out. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. 
Let's play ball. Ready now, Adrian De La Cruz. Now he reached Third on a baseman. single in his first try. Adrian. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly as to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now, maybe he gets hot. Nice execution right there. Ball was down below the knees, he stays through it. In now, Christian Warren. The first baseman, Christian Warren. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Slap hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. So stepping in, Adam Moore, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Hit to On third. The, back, the, ball, the, up. Up, the tag up. gets one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Stepping in, Curtis McGinnis, 0 for 4 32. with a strikeout thus far. Curtis McGinnis. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Hit boy, to boy, first. Boy. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. Your Brian please. Muriel comes now on from the pen, hoping Miller. to finish this one off Number here in the top of the ninth. Brian Muriel. Hard hit ball to second. Run it up, run it up, he lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Well, you're usually in this situation looking for a bloop and a blast. He didn't want to bloop it, and he hit a missile. Bring the, the tying run to the plate. Let's see if they can capitalize. Line drive to left. But coming on quickly is the left fielder to make the play for the first out. On to first, and they get the double play. Four to two with the final score tonight. Tulsa took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Luis Uribe wins his third of the season. Jorge Lopez thriller. was only able to four work four innings as he hits. takes the loss. No Ryan Muriel records the save, his 13th of the year. Minor League Baseball now on the show as our road trip makes a stop in the Double-A Texas League. Now at the plate, Christian Warren, runner in scoring position with two gone. Christian. First Warren. offering on its way. Liner toward right center. And that's in there. Base hit. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Digging in, Curtis McGinnis. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Curtis McGinnis. On its Taylor made to short. Six, four, three, and they turn the double play. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. What's the key for a home victory tonight, Dero? Yeah, Maddie, without question right here. This lineup's been struggling. Some bad approaches at the plate from top to bottom. They need the first two guys in the order to ignite this offense if they're going to have a chance of breaking out of this malaise. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Christian Warren. First, baseman, Christian first offering on its way. Warren. Line to the right side. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. At the plate, Damon Elmore. Now he flew batting. out in his Catcher, last at-bat. Damon Elmore. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Two, two, chopper up two, the middle. Two. One there. Return throw yeah. is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets it. So here's the cleanup now hitter, Christian the Warren. Baseman. Christian Warren. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball.
Now the 0 1. Hit hard stand on the ground. Right stand up, pick oh, it he up. can't pick it up cleanly. Stepping into the box, Jason Galvis. He'll try to the follow up the double in his Jason. last at bat with another Galvis. big hit right here. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Moving under it, Kelly. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. On to first, the double play. So it's no runs on three hits. No. Now with the play, Christian Warren do up are the four, five, and six Easy hitters, ball. and they're Northwest hoping that this Arkansas. is the part of the lineup the that can get something going. Christian. Yeah, only one run Warren. on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A swing and a ground ball to third. Carrara scoops it up, throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Christian Warren. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Line drive to left. McGinnis is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. A run, a hit, and a man left. So now we'll see if these guys can get even in the bottom of any. Standing in, Curtis McGinnis. And no he's got a chance there. to bring in Curtis. the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Pitch is popped up. Warren is under it, two gone. Digging in, Christian Digging Warren. Warren. He'll step North in Arkansas. trying to do something about this 2-2 two, two tie. Christian Warren. He's ready, here's the first offering. No balls and a strike to count. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. Jake Newberry gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that'll just about our do it. For Mark score. DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For base. more, don't forget to check out the show. Welcome into this presentation of my Ricky Savage gets the ball in game three of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy's had a it. solid year up the to this point. Baseball. It's not an easy Christian. thing to do in baseball this year Warren. with all the high scoring games. But this guy has an ERA of sub three. And that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him he in this the ball, one. Stan, on the right ground, here, on up the, back, the middle. The and that's through into center field. Base hit. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Now to the plate, Adam Moore. Fit. He did not the play catcher. last night, but Number clearly 70. back in the starting nine for this one. This is back toward right, the mound. Make it turn. Find it, find it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors. Stepping in, Christian now Moore. Batting. He singled the his last base. time up. Yeah, Chris Matty, yeah. pressure's off right now. Moore. He extended his hitting streak get, get, get that up. last plate appearance. Now he gets to get out. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Now batting, Sean Alderson. In eight at-bats in the series, he's collected Sean. three hits. Alderson. One, one, to one. first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Casey Barber. He flew the out in his last at-bat. Casey The 2-2. Two -two. 
two, hit hard two, on the ground two, towards two. second. There's one. He's out. On to first, He's and out. they turn the double play. Boy, that's about as easy as it comes. A chopper, two hopper, turns into a tailor mate. Now in the box, the Christian the Warren. He got on top of Christian. one and was a ground out victim Warren. last time. Ground ball on the back. right pick side. It up, pick it up. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Into the box now, Adam Moore. He comes in now 0 for 2 thus far. Number 70. Ready with the 1 2. A bounce stand it to up, the left up, side. He's right there. Throw in time, so a good pitch there gets him out of the base. Digging in to try it again. Sean Alderson will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has unexistent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they've been? Stepping in and ready for another oh, shot, Curtis 32. McGinnis. He got called Curtis. out on strikes his last Let's time through. It. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system, especially now. Two, two, Air two. down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. The ball in play. To second for one. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one. Leading off the inning, Leo Leading Casto, the as they'll look to get something going Casto. here and even this game Leo. up. This thing's far from Casto. over, even though the back end of this game, only down by yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. They need to be aggressive right here from the off. Digging in, Christian Warren. The first baseman, Christian Warren. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, and an ugly swing there. It's 0-1. Hey, he gets a pass right there for that ugly swing. He's been having a monster season. Take a step out of the box, regroup. He'll get right back in this A.B. And this is into the gap for his third hit of the night, and it'll be good for extra bases. And there's your tying run at second base with a one-out double. Good piece of hitting there, but you can't help wonder what might have been if the previous play didn't unfold like the way it did. If he doesn't get tagged out, he probably scores on that one pretty easily. Instead, it's just a one-out double. Now batting. Digging in Number once 70. again, Adam Moore, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the side. outfield. Get out, get out. He swings and misses, throw down. And he will be nailed at third on a questionable decision, to say the least, and the inning is over. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. Three to two, the First finish in tonight's game. game. The Drillers jumped ahead seven in the hit. seventh Two inning and never they gave the lead back. Jamie Schultz claims the win out of the pen his first. The game's future star. Standing in, Christian Leading Warren. Off. He drove in the off. other of their two the runs base. last night. Christian. Stung oh, into the gap in right center right, for what should go, be go, go extra to, go bases. To. Running hard, he's digging for second. Arms pumping, he's on hustling the bag, for on third. On the bag, right here, on the back. And the screen shows the story right there as that hitting streak will live to see another day. Just classic confidence at the box right now. You put your head on the pillow at night, you know you're on time. You get up, get dressed, drive to the ballpark, you expect to catch a couple barrels. That Striding in, Adam Moore comes it. off an 0 for 4 70. in last night's ball game. Shoots this one over to first. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him, a base hit. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0.
Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Rory, get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not Stepping into the box, the Christian the Morin. He scored after Christian. tripling in his first plate appearance. Morin. What's he got in store for us here? Pitch out, one, nothing doing. Right. The 1 0 home. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. You're scoring, you're scoring, you're scoring, you're scoring! Ramirez isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. He'll score easily. It's a 2 2 game. Yeah, it's always nice to get a run right back after you've given one up to the guys in the other dugout. So he squares this thing now up bad. really well to drive Number it a run 70. and ties us up at one. He's set. Here's the three and on two. On the bag, on the bag, on the bag. Striding into the box, Jason Galvez. Let He's 0 for 1 thus far. Galvez. A bullet to first base. And they get the double play at third. So coming to the plate, now Christian it. Warren. The He'll try to follow up the Christian. double in his last at bat Warren. with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. And they take the lead. It's gone. It's a two-run shot to straight away left. His first home run of the season. As they take the lead, it's now four to two. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Christian Warren will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. First pitch coming, here it is. Right side, fair ball down the line. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking, too, right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Digging in and looking for more. Adam Moore trying to add Number some padding in the form of that run standing out there at second base. And he just manages to get his hand in. Here it comes, 0-2. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. The tag, and they got him at third. It's a double play. Several good offensive performances in this one, but none better than the one turned in by the guy you see right there. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a multi-hit game, and more importantly, they were big hits. He was a key contributor to the outcome of this one. This evening's game comes to an end 5-4 the final tally. Tulsa used a three run ninth to help propel them to the Fans win. Darren score. Edmondson First earns his third win thriller. of the year Five in relief. So hits. that's a wrap no for errors. us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, base. Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching ML. A fast developing prospect has his first encounter with the media. If his progress continues, 
It will be the first of many such encounters. This aspect of life as a ball player will demand the learning of an entirely new kind of skill set. <laughs> 